Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for the 69th annual Holly Hall Silver Tea. I'm Lisa Miloski and I'm thrilled to be joining you as your MC for the second Silver Tea virtual event benefiting the Holly Hall Retirement Community's Resident Subsidy Program. Holly Hall is a Christian retirement community founded in 1949 to provide a loving home for Houston's elderly citizens. Today, Holly Hall serves 200 residents within its independent living, assisted living, and healthcare facilities. As most of you know, a silver tea is held each year in a home decorated for the holidays. And today, I'm standing outside the historic Mansfield Truxillo home, now owned by Jan and Tyson Greer. This stately mansion, one of the oldest in Houston, was built in 1892 by the original developers of the Heights, the Omaha and South Texas Land Company. This iconic home is four stories tall and includes a carriage house, guest house and pool on a 21,000 foot corner lot. It is one of the last two George F. Barber Victorian homes in the Heights. Are you excited to take a look inside? I am. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jan. And I'm Tyson Greer and welcome to our home. This is the newest of our Christmas decorations, a 12 foot tree five feet taller than any tree we've ever had because in this home we wanted something special to fill our entry. We felt it needed to be a very large tree to match the tradition and majesty of this wonderful home. It was our gift to each other for our first Christmas here in 2020. It's a very traditional tree with painted glass ornaments, but we couldn't pass up on the rotating Santa. We can't be too serious, it's just not who we are. From our entry, you can see directly into the fireplace room where the traditional grandeur of a Victorian home shines through. Tyson does all the garland inside and out by hand. He added the lighting himself because he thought it needed more sparkle. We leave my great-grandmother, Adeline Anderson's painting in place year-round and tend to keep our decorations very traditional, like the cross-stitch stockings. I don't believe the mantle is original to the home, but it's possible because it's an 1890s piece. We redid the tiling with antique tile from a home of the same age. Victorian tile often represented something special about the home's location. The squirrels certainly are prevalent in our half acre garden, so I felt good about my choice. There is so much history to this home. Sometimes people ask me if I ever see ghosts or hear strange noises. I won't tell all of the Mansfield Truxilla home secrets today, but I will say that if I were to hear a ghost, I think they'd be laughing. Or maybe I hear the sound of glasses clinking. I've always felt from the first moment that these walls are full of past parties and laughter. Old friends of Bart Truxilla have stopped by and shared stories about many parties and past goings on. I love that. Our casual sitting room doesn't have many Christmas additions, but I try to be thoughtful by using some of our all-white pieces to stand out against the dark walls and reflect the light furniture. The ceramic carousel is our children's favorite decoration. The little white angel is probably my favorite. My grandmother, another family artist, poured and fired this one in the 1980s. Now we are going to take a short break from our tour to recognize today's first honoree, Preservation Houston. Since its founding in 1978, more than 500 individual historic homes and buildings, like the one I'm standing in, the Mansfield Truxillo Mansion, owned by the Greers, have been designated city landmarks. In addition, 22 neighborhoods have been designated as city historic districts, including the Houston Heights East Historic District, where we're filming today. Also designated a historic city landmark, the Dunbar Chambers Memorial Chapel at Holly Hall. Preservation Houston is a small organization making a big difference. Holly Hall is pleased to honor their work at this year's Silver Tea. Representing Preservation Houston is their executive director, David Bush, who is standing by just outside the historic Dunbar Chambers Memorial Chapel at Holly Hall. David? Thank you, Lisa. I'm very grateful for this recognition and share the credit with Preservation Houston's volunteers and staff. We work very hard to make our city a better, more interesting place to live, but a lot depends on people like Jan and Tyson Greer 
and organizations like Holly Hall Retirement Community, who've made long-standing commitments to care for significant buildings like their beautiful home and the Dunbar Chambers Memorial Chapel. Preservation Houston is happy to support these efforts in any way we can. Thank you. Thank you, David, and congratulations. Now let's continue our house tour in the dining room. This is our formal dining room. We bought this table on our first outing after we had our first baby. He's now nine years old, so that's how long the dining room set has been with us. It's from Central France by way of a Mississippi antiques dealer, my home state. It has six leaves for a total length of 24 feet, and we do think it's possible to get them all in if we turned it sideways. The chairs are also antiques from another source. The seller suggested they needed to be recovered from the bright red, and I thought it was nuts. Plus, it's stain resistant. There are mercury glass mushroom globes and reindeer salt and pepper shakers. I arranged the centerpiece each year, and I decided to add twinkle lights right away. As my wife says, I have an obsession with light bulbs. I always wanted a nativity like this. My grandmother on my father's side had a very similar one. I finally found this set a few years ago. I use vintage and antique silver servingware. I mostly have platters and smaller plates, which are sprinkled around the house. This room always feels a bit Christmassy with the red chairs and the red in the wrought iron side table and matching painting. We bought the painting at an arts fair in Rome before we had children. It always brings back happy memories. The newest Christmas edition is the 100-piece Fairfield Poinsettia and Ribbons Christmas dishware, flatware, and servingware. The chandelier is original to the home, and like the prior owner, we kept one original light switch to make it feel authentic and to show the home's history. In the 1970s, the stained glass window depicting our home was designed and installed. The kitchen is decorated for Christmas for my and my husband's pleasure. We purposefully did not create an open concept kitchen. I love to close the doors and cook in peace. We found empty space above the doorways and opened them specifically for seasonal decorating. The lower portion is original to the home and certainly lends itself to display. I have the rest of the tea service for my Christmas wear here. In a house this tall with two little kids, a three-story laundry chute is possibly the best change we made. Jan found this sink in upstate New York. It is said to be from the late 1800s. She likes that it has sideboards like the ceramic sinks that were popular in the 1900s, but it's still made of metal like the 1700 and 1800 sinks. This antique kitchen faucet is from a local antique dealer who got it from another Victorian home one street over that was being demolished. You can tell it's a real antique because the spacing is 12 inches, not eight, and it pours water more like a fire hose than a faucet. I feel like this room feels nostalgic and Christmassy year-round with the tin ceiling, green counters, and waxed table-like island, like tinsel on a tree. Decorating the sunroom is new this year. I like the outdoor decorations in this space since it was once an outdoor porch. We pulled away the drop ceiling to reveal original haint blue porch, and we're so happy we did. The stained glass grants privacy while recreating the outdoors. Like her grandmother once did, Jan rotates her collection of copper tins for the seasons. We now have three Christmas wreaths. Now we are taking another short break from our home tour to hear from Holly Hall's first vice president and silver tea chair, Amy Taylor. We are going back to Holly Hall's historic chapel where Amy will tell us more about Holly Hall's resident subsidy program. Amy? Thank you, Lisa. Good afternoon. I'm honored to represent Holly Hall as the first vice president, silver tea chair, and most importantly, the daughter of a Holly Hall resident. One of the hallmarks of Holly Hall's care and commitment to its residents is that it helps cover the cost of care for residents who over time are no longer able to do so as they transition from independent living to assisted living and then to health care. Our goal is to ensure that no resident be turned away from his or her home for fear that he or she will not be cared for should this happen. Let me tell you a story about a Holly Hall resident who lived her final years with us at Holly Hall 
and receive subsidy assistance. Soon after moving in, this resident, who was a longtime member of one of Holly Hall's founding churches, lost her husband and then lost her eyesight. Following a fall which broke her hip, she moved into the healthcare facility since she required permanent 24-hour care. The expenses of long-term care were much higher than her budget and her retirement funds were quickly depleted. Thanks to the resident subsidy fund, this resilient woman was able to continue to live an active life and Holly Hall was blessed to support and care for her until her passing this year. When residents find themselves in a similar situation, Holly Hall subsidizes their cost of care. Your support today will give all residents peace of mind. Please text TEA to 74121 and show your support. Thank you. We feel blessed to partner with you as we add years to life and life to years for our senior adult family. Thank you, Amy. Now let's join Tyson and Jan upstairs. We're on the second floor and we want to show you some of the original woodwork and subtle changes we made. The wainscoting was only partial at the end of this hall. We about doubled it and it feels more complete now. The carpenters did a wonderful job mixing old and new. Jan can tell which pieces are original, but I can't. This tree was a hand-me-down from my parents and the ornaments were the first ones we ever had. We have five trees up this year. When we purchased the home, it had only one bathroom upstairs. We added a second for the boys, and their bathroom is the most expensive room in the home. The marble vignette walls pay homage to the Victorian style and are laser cut. This bathtub is original to the home. It was downstairs. It's perfect for the boys because it's only four feet long. The sink was in the basement dressing room. Original sinks are often very petite compared to modern ones, so it's just perfect for our little boys. Our children's room has two original windows in place, but there was a second attic stairwell in there. That's gone now. The dresser is in its place. Our son's first tree is tucked beyond the dresser. Their beds were sold direct to us by a lovely Houston family who once had a silk stocking mansion in Galveston. We're often asked, what's in the turret? It's the access to the playroom, and the stairwell is our home library. Some of the oldest books in here were found in the carriage house attic. They'd been there a very, very long time, and some were lost to mice, but Jan cleaned up what she could. Each year for Christmas, we changed the lights within the chandelier to green and red. And this year, the boys added ornaments to the staircase. The children's playroom is at the top of the stairs, and in the playroom, their big tree. We let them go wild. They're still believers, and they put this entire tree up on their own, got it up and out of the box and everything. We are headed back to Amy Taylor now at Holly Hall for an introduction of this year's Legacy Honoree, Amy. Thank you, Lisa. Our 2021 Legacy Honoree is the Houston family. Accepting on behalf of the Houstons are brothers Pat and Rock Houston. They are third generation Houstonians who continue their family's long tradition of service and involvement with Holly Hall. Rock joined the Board of Directors in 2006 and has served as its president twice. Pat joined the board in 2014 and most recently served as president during the difficult year of 2020. Both brothers remain passionate about Holly Hall and its future. Pat and Rock, on behalf of Holly Hall, thank you for your family's dedication to this retirement community. Thanks so much, Amy. I'm Pat. This is my brother, Rock, and we are very honored to be representing our family's involvement in Holly Hall for these past 70 years. Our grandmother, Evelyn Nicholson, served on the founding board, and our father, also Pat Houston, served on the board for 18 years. Our great-grandmother, Selma Frederick, was one of Holly Hall's early residents and lived at Holly Hall for 19 years, passing away here at the age of 101. Our mother made a donation to establish the Houston Greenhouse at Holly Hall in memory of our father and she lived her last few years at Holly Hall. Collectively, Pat and I have served on the board for 24 years. 
and we continue to serve on Holly Hall's Long Range Planning Committee because we love Holly Hall and are committed to its long-term stability. As honored as we are to have our family recognized and to be representatives of our family, today really is not about us. It's about supporting Holly Hall. We thank you so much for this honor and we enthusiastically encourage everyone's support. Thank you. We're wrapping up our virtual home tour and Jan and Tyson, I think our viewers would love to know why you bought this historic home and what it's been like living here the past couple of years. Tyson and I always hope to be historic homeowners and we look for nearly a decade before we finally found our forever home. There's history, lasting quality, timeless style, and excellent holiday decorating opportunities. It's an honor to own our own little piece of Houston history and to be stewards for this great house for generations to come. And we are grateful that our special home can spread joy beyond our family to the Holly Hall community. And we're honored to be a benefit to Holly Hall always, but especially during this season of giving. Thanks to all of you for joining us for the second virtual Holly Hall Silver Tea. Proceeds from today's program will benefit Holly Hall Retirement Community's Resident Subsidy Program. To donate, please text TEA to 74121. Congratulations again to our honorees, Preservation Houston and the Houston family. On behalf of everyone at Holly Hall, we wish you blessings for this holiday season and thank you for your partnership as we add years to life and life to years for our senior adult family. Thank you again and happy holidays.